you going there fellas you found a really special beer here pete and i we just lucked upon it down in springvale today for lunch it was beautiful caught up with nathan scammed again anyway this is the um anchor from Angkor Wat area or Cambodia. It's their extra stout, eight percent. I was salivating just talking about it. It's cruel, isn't it? Oh yeah, right. There you go, Pete. Cheers, Trev. I just took it off the old photo album before it exploded oh, on the photos. Dog. Yeah, over. Go on, it. You get that. Go on, it, We've had a few. We've had a. We've already had a couple of these and. What else would we have today? Triple threes. The Sun Sun Sun. Vietnamese beers. Actually, Peter and our, you know, Peter and mine, our personal favourites of uh, Vietnam. Triple three, wasn't it? Yeah, triple sun, three. Sun, sun. We drank it everywhere. It was beautiful. So easy to drink that one. Nice, easy one on the palate. Mmm. like water. Well, that's not like water. No. That's no. thick and chunky, isn't it? But for 8%, it hasn't got a real high alcohol taste. No. If they said that was like only 6%, you'd believe it, wouldn't you? Well, I was in, I was in Cambodia a Didn't year ago. See it. And Didn't see it. There was anchor beer on tap over there. Mm. American dollar for a, a pint of anchor on tap. A pint. But uh, I never saw the extra stout over there. Spilling. Must be a new thing. Must be. They've done it well. That's beautiful. They've got a, a good brewer to make that. That's a great recipe. How much was that, Trev, for six? Oh, it was 22 for six. Okay. Well, it's worth it. Yeah, sure. You know, if you want to get a 7% uh, left beer, it's going to cost you 28 for a six pack or a six pack of good American, you know, 8% beers. It's going to cost you plenty. 30 bucks for a six pack, that's cheap. Yeah, I've never seen those before. No. In the, in the bottle shop. And Australian beers, they don't make many strong ones. You, the only strong ones you can get out there are like maybe, I think it's uh, Bogues that make one, or one of the Tassie beers, they make a 7.2er. Mm. What do you think? That's lovely, you know. It's not as got a bad head on it either. Great head. No, that's why I, I, I always hang shit on the Aussie beer heads because they're, they're not very good compared to this this is this is deluxe creamy you ripper a really good looking beer too eh? Mm. in the glass mm. Probably not hangs bad. off the side you see that especially this time of year you know, oh, stout, you know oh, it's a bit cooler. it is it was freezing this morning here it was probably about five degrees in the morning pretty cold mm. It was this cold wind coming into my room when the dog opened the door in the morning. She usually wants to come in about six, seven in the morning, wants to jump on the bed and have a warm up. Oh, for sure. And then I got up this morning and it's the first time that she didn't want to get up at the same time. She wanted to stay in bed. Yeah, they do. Like cats warm. like that. Oh. They don't want to get up. So she's loving the warm bed. So what about the travel tail? Maybe the travel tail to Springvale. The local travel well, here we go, Pete. We ended up getting some Vietnamese food for takeaway. We had Thai food for lunch, and we had chatty poos with about how many women do you reckon we talked to today? Oh, at least half a dozen. Yeah. Very, we, very friendly down there. And we bought some though. food in the lingerie. How's that one? You never do that usually, but we end up buying chocos and some, uh, I think they're like shallot type things. Spring onion grass, they call it or something. What is that stuff? Chives. I don't know. Well, we got a dollar. It costs only a dollar. That's just cheap. Who wants to take their clothes and wash them? We're, we're going to there buying food. <laughs> I've seen that before. But that's why Spring Road is so good. I love Spring Road for that. It's a good place. People, you know, it's, a, it's a pretty dodgy kind of area, you know, in Melbourne, but. But it's not. We've been going there for years and it's... How especially... comfortable do you feel there? Everyone's really friendly. You'd have no shortage of backup if you had trouble there because you know half of the punters down there. Yeah, They've got they shops and restaurants. You know half of them. The Vietnamese don't give you trouble. Ugh. They don't give you any trouble with Vets. No. There's plenty of Thais down there. How many Thai restaurants? Thais are the Vets. There's five Thai restaurants all in one little spot. 
you know, a good place, good to go. If you go for lunch there one day or Springvale, do you'll... a bit of shopping, have a walk around, go to the markets. Yeah. You can get some real good food. Real good cheap. fresh fresh food. And you can have a bit of a day out, a day out, you know. Something different. And we got these dishes today and like imagine you, you order a fish soup. So there's two decent fillets of fish, like five inch size, so big big fillets, you know, three quarters of an inch thick. And then you've got the beautiful soup and it's six dollars. But we bought five different things and we got it for twenty five. So only five bucks of a fish dish. That's impossible to find. Yeah, no, it was good food and right price and what western place can you go and get a, a fish dish for five bucks? It ticked all the boxes. It was a beauty. So we've got spicy fish, two styles, and something else tonight, haven't we? We've got a couple of different things. We good. Good food. Yeah, it's, you get uh, to springy. When yeah. you travel, if you've ever been to Vietnam and Thailand and Laos, you know, Cambodia, Peaks by now. If you like Southeast there. Asia. Yeah. And you live Malaysia. in Melbourne, do yourself a favour. Get over you there. You live in some suburbs. Yeah. Get you know, down to even, even China, like southern China is a lot like Thailand. Very similar, yeah. You could cross the border up at the top and you won't, you'll hardly notice the difference in language and foods. Uh, Yunnan. China is like Thailand in a way. Uh, they speak similar language and have similar foods and you know follow similar traditions. A bit more communist, but the the monks go from Thailand in there every year. They asked me to come in with them. I don't think I'd pass as a Yunnan person. They said to me I'll probably get arrested <laughs> as a spy, so I didn't go. Anyway, cheers. All right, good one. And, cheers, uh, fellas. That's the anchor. Get yourself extra a stout. Anchor, That's beautiful. Anchor, extra stout. Cheers, Extra mate. stout. All right, fellas. We'll wrap it up. See yous.